All right, guys, we are about to jump into the mobile version of this website. Thank you so much for watching so far. If you have any questions, always feel free to ask me in our Discord. And with that said, let's hop into mobile and make some fancy things. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into our mobile breakpoint here. And pretty much everything tries to stack here. But what we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to set some parameters here. We want as soon as let's go to preview as soon as our content is and we need probably need to fix this too. This should not be I didn't see this in our actual site happen. Okay, doesn't basically crop out. But as soon as we break this we want to go to mobile or as soon as we get some crossing there we want to go to mobile. So we're going to go to I'm going to set all this to oops. I'm going to scale this proportionally. All right, let's go ahead and fix some of these very quickly. Was this 393 306? It's interesting that this is happening here. But again, like if you see weird things like this happen, just make sure as long as it's not happening in the published site, it doesn't exist. <laughs> we'll take a look. We'll make sure that this doesn't happen on the published site. But the last thing, okay, we are here in the mobile version, but I want to make sure that we go from here to a nice stacked website. Okay, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is again, we're going to recenter everything. So I'm going to set this to don't display and I'm going to bring back desktop one assets. So our Mario container and we're going to bring back our not this one. We're going to bring back our text container. If we can find it. Don't contain da, da, da. I keep opening the wrong thing. <laughs> don't display. Okay, here we go. We've got this and then we have simply the Mario container. Okay, great. So we're going to take our, this was the container that we created in for desktop one, and we're going to repurpose it for the mobile breakpoint. We're going to set the minimum width to none. Our Mario container, we're going to set this from 8%. We're going to go ahead and set this to about 20, maybe 20. Let's double check what we have on our V2 here for our tablet. So we have our Mario container to be, let's go ahead and see. Mario container is set to 30%. So let's go ahead and do that here. Make sure this is centered. Very good. And I make want to make sure that this is sticky. Now this content here, the logo and everything else, we do not want this to be sticky. We want it to be default actually, because we don't actually want it to scroll down with us. The only thing we want to have scroll down with us is Mario in this case. We are going to pull this up a little bit further. Okay, basically align it with this menu here. There we go, using our alignment tools. And we are gonna start to center all of this content. So center, center. I wanna make sure that this stays in that third row. There you go. Center. And we are going to center this as well. Probably put it at the top for now. All right. Now what we're going to do is each one of these, let's go ahead and take a peek at what we've done here. So we've centered our image in our containers. We have dropped our width of our text to 50. So if you guys recall in our tablet version, we have set everything essentially to 305. We're going to set the width to 250. Our headings, we're going to reduce this to the size of them. Let's go ahead. We're going to have to make some header font sizes. So we actually are sizing these between 60 and 69 pixels here. So we've added some font scaling here for tablet or excuse me for mobile. So we're going to go ahead and implement that here as well. So edit text scaling 60 to 69. Perfect. I'm going to make sure that the text scaling is correct. Yep. 14 to 18. All right, this is here as well. Perfect. Now I do want to make sure that all of this for whatever reason, here we go. Minimum width 305. We want to set this to none, but we also need this to conform. And I am curious why it is not. So let's go back here. Let's go ahead and check this out. So we have hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. Perfect. 
the container that is holding everything is set to max content. Our text container is set to 250 pixels. And this is set to 1FR. Let's go ahead and set this back to max content. And let us, for now, I'm just going to center this. This is where we got to use our brains just a little bit, guys. Go to my layers here. Go back to the container, 250. This container it is minimum width is 50. Let's set that to none. Let's just do 300, see what that looks like. 300, okay, what's 250 look like? Let's do 280. Okay, honestly, the easiest solution here is because the only thing that is going over is this text and the easiest thing to do here is really just drop this down to 60 pixels and maybe 55. Okay, and we'll just do that heading change pretty much to all of the content down below. It's 200, the min width set to none. We're going to center this puppy. This is going to go from 69, 60 to 69. We're going to go to 60 to 50. The overarching container is going to go to 250. Main container, set it to max content. Make sure this is centered, 200, set this to 250. This puppy will set to, and if you guys really wanted this size, right? If it just really looks nice to you, you totally can keep it. The only thing we would do, right, is change the actual size of the overarching container. So. You can either set it manually here or change the font. But I'm just going to leave it like this. 1FR. I'm going to leave and change. I can just change this to 300. There we go. Or 260, 270. That looks about good. All right. So main container. We're going to set to max content. None. The text container will be 270. There we go. I'm going to make sure it is left aligned. There we go. Or rather, centered. Keep it in that second cell. Container, center. Okay. This needs to be 200. Remove the minimum width. Center that. Make sure it's on the top. Center. 270 for our width. Center that puppy. Make sure it is in the bottom cell. If it keeps moving like that, just make sure that you undock it from the sides. Let's set this to remove the minimum width here. There we go. Make sure this entire center, this whole container is centered and we can leave this how it is. Container boom, center that. Okay, now all I'm gonna go ahead and do here is we want to increase the size of each one of these sections, specifically for mobile. Okay, the minimum height here is 480, almost 500 pixels. So what we are going to do here with these containers, we are going to set them, or even what we can do is we can set the actual sections themselves, where we have them set to auto right now, right? I'm gonna to go to my, row, my rows. We have them all set to auto. We simply can set these to 500 pixels. Set these to 500 pixels. And the next one here, 500 pixels. Now, what we can do is we can do a little bit more. 800 pixels. 800. 800. And what I'm going to do is in each one of these, I'm going to set the containers to be top aligned and pinned to the top because we want what we want to have happen is we don't want all we want all these to be sticky, but we want them to stop at a certain point. So we're going to make them sticky 
but we are actually going to put these in a container. Okay, starting with our Koopa up top here, three dots, put in container, put Alt C, and I am going to set this container to be a 100% height. Why I'm gonna do that, I'll show you in just a second. Place this in. I'm just gonna select this, Alt-C. Could care less, height, we want 100%. I wanna make sure that it stays in the third row here, the third grid cell. Minimum height, set to none. Please stretch to 100%, please. There we go. Container, Alt-C. Minimum height for that container set to zero. The height for it set to 100%, perfect. And now we're gonna go back into these, right? Our original containers, and I'm going to set these to sticky. And you guys will see the change here. All right, now when we go ahead and publish, all right, we need to figure out where the hero went here. So, but the main thing I wanted to show here is now these are sticky, but they stop at that container we just created. The next one comes, stops at that container, goes, stops at that container. They basically, so they stay sticky for a while, but they get booted out. Stay sticky, boom, okay. But we actually look like we need to fix this one. Looks like it's pretty short. What we're gonna do is each one of these rows, we are going to set to not just 1000, we're actually gonna drop them to 100% VH or 100 VH, just like that. 100 VH, 100 VH. And this last one is 100 VH as well. Perfect. And let's figure out why this was not showing up here. Let's set, let's remove the minimum height, minimum width. Let's publish, see what's going on here. And it looks like we already are having some, uh, <laughs> we have to go back and fix some of our, our breakpoint things here, which will be really easy. All right, we published. Let's go back here, refresh. Let's go to tablet. All right, boom. So we're gonna not dock these to the left, we're just gonna dock these to the top here. And let's figure out the mysterious reason that this stuff is not showing up here. It's set to 100% width is 30, publish. All right, let's see what's going on here. All right, so that stuff is there, this stuff is not. All right, this is centered now. What is interesting is that this one stays for a pretty long time. All right, so, so far I am fixing pretty much the containers that I have added to these pieces making sure that they're set to max content, that they're centered. Because right now we see them as a percentage. And guys, just make sure to double check. As you are creating things, just make sure that your assets and what you're creating, always check your inspector to make sure there's no discrepancies. I think what I'm gonna do here is make these sections. I know we have them set these rows to 100% VH. Maybe I'll do one 50 VH just to make them a little bit longer so that they these sections that we have that are readable are just a little bit longer and this last one I'm just gonna leave to 150 so I'm gonna go ahead and publish this I'm gonna try to figure out you know what's really happening here with our uh, so this is working boom sticky don't know why this stops so quickly We'll have to take a peek at that. This one is pretty nice, and that one is pretty good. We just need to figure out, let's refresh here. All right, that's properly centered. All right, there we go, that sticks a little bit longer. That sticks a little bit longer, good. 
Now let's try just trying to figure out. I'm going to try to let's not display him. I'm gonna duplicate him actually. Let's do control C and we are going to make him a mobile version. Mario container, and we're just gonna call this mobile. We're gonna make sure that this is only in the top portion here. We're gonna turn off the Mario desktop version here. We're gonna go don't display. Let's go to publish. All right, Mario is there, A-OK, -okay. all right. So let's go ahead and do this again. But this is why it's always good to double check and try things, ladies and gentlemen, because sometimes some things get you know, a little funky, especially when you're trying to copy things uh, across breakpoints. So I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna duplicate this co uh, logo that we have for our desktop. I'm just gonna copy, paste. I'm gonna turn off the original desktop one version. We're gonna take this this is the copy and we're gonna call this mobile. Center it. Minimum width set to none. Okay, I wanna make sure that this is 100% in the center because it looks like it is not. I'm gonna left the line here. Center. All right, now we have some content that is pushing over to the right here, which is this. So I'm gonna go ahead over here and change this to Oops, before I do that, we got 110. So I'm gonna set this to about 90 here, and I'm gonna also do this about 80. Set this section to max content, minimum zero or none. All right, that way we don't have that uh, little push off to the right, if you guys saw that. Okay, so everything is looking good. This is now centered. And that's a quick tip, guys, like anytime, like, if things don't look like they're centering, always check to make sure that you don't have, I'm gonna control Z this so that we look at this. Make sure you don't have this horizontal scroll bar. If there is, that means something is pushing off, which in our case, it was this text. All I had to do was make it smaller so it fit within the breakpoint, and that should make it so that you don't have any horizontal scroll. All right, so I'm gonna give this a little bit of an offset. I'm gonna set again the minimum width to none. Offset here can be 50 still. I'm gonna give this about margin of 40. I'm gonna make our mobile menu just a tad smaller here. All right, that's centered. Push this down just a little bit, just like this. With my arrow keys. Let's go ahead and publish. There we go. All right, so our text, it is coming down with us here. We actually don't want it to be sticky this time around. And Mario, we're gonna push over to the left just a little bit because it looks like there is some discrepancy here. So we're gonna set minimum width again to none. We're gonna take it off being sticky. We want it to stay at the top. Mario, we are going to take you to be a little bit over to the left, just using my arrow keys here. And we're gonna publish, boom, there we go. We can probably make this a tad bigger all right, so now that stays at the top, Mario is following with me. The content is staying sticky. We're gonna set some offset to this so it doesn't get stuck to the top here. There we go. And we're gonna put the pipe over top Mario. We're gonna make Mario just a little bit bigger. We'll do like 35%. Okay, we're gonna find our pipe here. We're gonna put this at the top of the section yet again. Each one of these sections that we have, we're gonna set these to have an offset of about, let's see what we had in our other site here. Let's go back to our V2, our version one of the site, go to mobile, and let's see, we had a 100% or a 100 pixel offset. Let's go add that to all of these sections here that we have sticky. And I'm going to steal these button containers. I'm also gonna set this button here. I'm gonna set this to be centered, and I'm gonna set the width to 100%. There we go, so we get that expansion of that button here. Remove the minimum. I'm now gonna take this entire container, copy, and go all the way down to the release date here. I'm gonna take the dock from the bottom, I'm gonna dock it to the top. I'm gonna paste our container of buttons here, I'm gonna center it, and we are going to see where this takes us, okay? So I'm going to, again, put our pipe above our buttons. I'm gonna publish. 
there we go here's the 100 percent or the 100 pixel offset that i was talking about boom okay next thing stays next thing comes in stays and all right now next thing that we have to do is we need to get this release date all fixed so we're going to grab go ahead and grab this in a container we want to make sure that this is that was the issue right here it was in another section and it's docked for whatever reason all the way up top here this is section one right this is in section one this is section two this is section three all right section four is our penguins section five we need to push this here our penguins for whatever reason need to be pushed right here we're gonna push it to the top okay there we go let's go ahead and publish boom easy day all right we're looking good looking good yes awesome so now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we are going to add a little bit of um, some pixel offset I might actually make this sticky the April here so let's go ahead and set this to position sticky offset we'll give this about 100 let's go ahead and publish that all right we're good we're good we're good there we go that's looking good and honestly what we really could do is I could put all of this in a, one single container and make it sticky but for right now, this works perfectly for what I need. But if I really wanted to, I could control Z, basically making it not sticky. I could select both of these. Again, Alt C to put these in a container. Make sure that it is in the bottom most grid cell. We're gonna dock it to the top, not the bottom. Get this margin out of here. We're gonna set this to sticky offset. We'll do about 90. Publish. Looking good. All right. Only thing I have to do is this is probably docked to the left. So let's go ahead and fix that. Again, always test, 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 guys. All right. So I'm going to grab this text block. Yep. It's docked to the left. We'll undo that. We'll publish this. Excellent. All right, guys. There we have it. We have so far done. So far, we have done the desktop version one, desktop version two, tablet and mobile. And next, what we're gonna do is we're going to discuss how to do the animations that you guys see on this. We will clear out the copy of this website and actually finalize it to have it be a final product so you guys can finally finish this and uh, actually add it to your portfolio, make it look a little bit cool. So with that said, I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen so far. Stay tuned for the animation portion and I will see you guys there. Don't forget to like this video and join our Discord for more questions or if you got stuck anywhere in the tutorial, we're free to help. All right, guys, peace.